Hi, my name is Andrea. I'm a nurse at the UW Carbone Cancer Center. This video will show you how to disconnect your home infusion from an infusion pump that contains a closed system transfer device in the tubing. Your first step is washing your hands. Then gather your supplies. Now put on gloves and cover your work area with paper towels or napkins to protect the surface. Now prepare your chemotainer. This is where you will dispose of any items that have come in contact with chemotherapy. Attach the female closed system transfer device adapter to the saline flush and set aside. Do not let the end of the adapter or the flush touch anything but each other. If they do touch anything, use an alcohol swab to scrub the ends for 15 seconds. Press stop start on the pump. Press yes to confirm you wanna stop the pump. Close the clamps on both the pump tubing and your central line tubing. Turn the pump off by pressing the on off button on the side of the pump and press yes to shut off the pump. Next, disconnect the tubing from the male closed system transfer device adapter by pressing in the tab with red lines on the male adapter and pulling straight out. Do not allow the male adapter end that is still attached to your central line to touch anything. If it does happen to touch anything, use an alcohol swab to scrub the end of the male adapter for 15 seconds. Now attach the saline syringe with the female adapter to the male adapter by matching up the red lines and pushing the two ends together. You should hear a click. Open the clamp on your central line tubing and flush the tubing using the push-pause method. Try to leave a small amount of fluid in the saline syringe. Remove the male adapter from the valve by twisting it off. Again, try not to let the valve touch anything, but if it does, scrub with an alcohol wipe for 15 seconds before attaching your heparin syringe. Next, attach the heparin syringe to the valve at the end of your central lines tubing and flush the tubing using the push-pause method and leaving a small amount of fluid in the syringe. Remove the syringe, then close the clamp on your central lines tubing. If you have a port, now you can gently remove the dressing over the port needle. Stabilize the port by holding down the oval base of the needle with one hand. Then place your fingers of the other hand on either side of the handle in the middle of the needle and pull the handle back until you feel a firm stop. This means the needle is locked. Dispose of the entire needle tubing set by placing them into the chemotainer. If you have a pick line or a tunneled central line, you will move right to this next step after removing the heparin syringe. Remove the chemotherapy bag or cassette from the infusion pump by pulling on the metal handle on the side of the pump. Put the entire bag, cassette, and tubing set into the chemotainer. Bundle up all the items in your work area and put them in the chemotainer, followed by your gloves. Be sure not to snap the lid down onto the chemotainer as this will lock the chemotainer and you will not be able to use it again. Snap the lid down only when it's full. Remove the batteries from the infusion pump and discard them. If you think your infusion pump got any chemotherapy on it, wipe it off with a damp soapy cloth. Wash your hands using soap and water, not just alcohol gel. Remember to put your infusion pump back into the fanny pack and bring both to your next chemotherapy appointment. If you will not be having any more chemotherapy in the future, please call your home infusion company to pick up the chemotainer, the infusion pump, and fanny pack. If you have any concerns or questions, please call your home infusion company.